All right, now that we've made it out, we got uh, Raikon's weapons here. Let's go ahead and equip him so he's ready for combat. As ready as he can be. He's such a baller. Of course he's ready. What am I talking about? Well, here goes nothing. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kitchy Celebrity Slaves, where we started as a one-armed United City slave and are now building an elite death squad of freed Kitchy Celebrities. We got Sabouts, Rikon, Aviticus, Dragon, Rodamont, Hatsune Neko, and Shidan. It's time to liberate our second to the last slave encampment. We're getting close, guys. We are almost ready to start toppling the United Cities. Thank you all so much for your continued support on the series. You are all so amazing, and you continue to be so. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and you're a fan of Awesome Sauce, feel free to subscribe for your daily dose. Because we love Awesome Sauce here. All right, guys. What are we doing? We are going to take this camp. We're going to try to do so as uh, fast as we can. Uh, we're just going to do a quick recon here. Uh, we did a little bit in the end of the last episode. Uh, we're just kind of scanning the walls for turrets, and I don't... I still don't see a single turret over here, guys. I don't see any. Now, there are going to be turrets on these towers here, right? So, there's. it looks like there's basically just two turrets, I think. Uh, what about these? There aren't going to be any on top of these, but what about this guy? What about this uh, Y? What are they called? Y houses? I don't remember. Uh, I don't see. No, there's no turret on this guy either, dudes. I th Guys, I think we... Okay. I think what we're going to do now, in order to keep from fighting those turrets at all, I think all we have to do, we got to clear this gate, remove their first aid kits, etc., like we usually do, of course, and then move into this building. So that's our, that's our first step, right? Okay, step one, get the guards cleared. Step two, and because there's no turrets here, we can just fight them right over here, right? I think we can just pull them over here. Step two is going to be we're going to get inside this building and see if we can get... Anybody who wants to fight us to come in here out of line of sight of that turret over there. And, uh, yeah, start working our magic, guys. Okay, let's do a quick stats check. We got uh, Sabouts, 54-34 on attack and defense. We got Rykon, 52-33. These guys are progressing slower. Uh, we haven't been able to get as many fights as we'd like. We need to start fighting some harder enemies like stats in the 50s that are just going to knock us on our butt the whole time. Uh, and we need to fight multiples of them, right? So we're taking hits instead of just giving hits. I think we really need to start working on our defense. Aviticus sitting at 35 martial arts and 36 dodge. Attack 28 and defense 32 on Radamont. Hatsune Neko is sitting at 9 attack and 29 defense. She's been getting hit a lot, not doing a lot of damage though. So, uh, and then Shidan. Crossbows are pretty low. If we turn off ranged, we can see that his attack is at 18. His defense is at 16. Uh, we're using ranged on him for right now. I'd like to really get his ranged up to the point where he can snipe turrets. I'm going to want that. I'm going to want him to have a super long range crossbow that has super high damage. So what are we going to do? I think we're going to get all these guys, put them on hold. We're going to get Sabouts over here to do his magic and get a pullin. Come on, guys. You know you want to fight? Yeah, come on over here. All right, we got all right, we got 5 of them. No problem, dudes. No problem. When they get close enough, we're going to engage. Here we go. Let's go ahead and slow it down just a little bit. Let's get in here. Oh, Rykon and Sabouts as always going in with quick strikes. Hatsune trying to get in there, but she's getting shot in the butt by Shidan. <laughs> as always. Okay, we got the rest of these 3 dudes coming in here. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get on this first guy. Oof. Sabouts, as always. Leviticus trying to get in there with some punches. Ooh, Hatsune. Starting to swing that big old mace. She's still pretty slow with it. Rodamont's still pretty slow with his heavy weapon as well, but that will change over time. And one of the things you'll notice here, let me just show you real quick. So, Sabouts has a pretty heavy fragment circle, right? It's not only heavy, but it's got almost primarily entirely blunt damage, right? So... What does that mean? That means it's going to work his strength like crazy. It's a 6 to 1 ratio. So, his strength, if we notice, his weight capacity is now 72. His strength is up to 37. It's going up pretty decently. It's going up as fast, faster than his dex, of course, now. That we've switched him uh, to a primarily strength weapon. And he also has 
the arm, right? For anybody who hasn't seen any earlier episodes, I would certainly recommend watching those to kind of get caught up on the series. If you're enjoying the series, that is. If you're not, probably don't watch them. Uh, so, Power Arm Mark II, Masterwork, awesome, plus 52% strength, super, super strong. Uh, we're not really gaining anything from the uh, unarmed bonus. Let's go ahead and strip these guys down, get the uh, first aid kits off of them. I don't care about relieving them of their armor this time. I am going to be lazy, and we're not going to do that. It's fine. But I do want to get these first aid kits off of these dudes, as always. Uh, I, somebody caught us stealing here, somehow. That's fine. Whatever. I don't know who's catching us stealing. That seems a little absurd. Is it just these dudes that are on the inside? It doesn't seem like there's anybody coming to fight us. So, I mean, if you caught us stealing, come fight us. Okay, I. it's so hard to get that. There we go. Oh, he was playing dead. That's why. He didn't even get up. Okay, so let's try to get him up and fight him. We'll get somebody with a low thievery to get over here and try to take one of his items. He's just not getting up, though. So he's just continuing to play dead. He is bleeding a reasonable amount, but he's not going to die, I don't think. He's definitely going to get back up and come help his buddies. All right, so gate is clear, it looks like. Are these guys... Oh, they are. Look at this, guys. These guys are coming out to, I think, bandage their homies. So let's get over here. Thieving worm! I'll show you who's a worm, you turd burglar. All right. Rykon, Sabouts, and Leviticus Dragon getting in there nice and quick. Ooh, man, they hit so hard. I tell you what, guys. We really need to fight, uh, you know, bigger groups of enemies so that those guys aren't always the ones getting the first hits in because they run the fastest and their attacks have the longest range. All right. What do we got here? We got a few dudes. We got some archers. Here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to run inside of here, and we're going to get this party started. Let's take a look at everybody's stats. Ooh, Rikon's already taking a fair bit of damage here. Uh, you know what? If you want to get paid, you got to risk it. You got to risk it. Let's get inside with our group before we get hit by too many arrows. Uh, we need to get farther inside than that, I think. Oh, well, it looks like we may not be able to get inside. Uh, guys, could you maybe open? Yeah, there we go. Get inside. Oh, we're taking on too much damage here. All right, let's uh, focus on this guy if we can. Oop, here we go. Attack target. Actually, we'll do attack all because if we... We've got a couple archers outside. We need to get these guys knocked out real quick. Oh, man, Aviticus just... Oh, man, Rodamont's just getting slain here. Rodamont, you got to get inside, bro. Aviticus is already down. Rodamont, get inside, buddy. You can't be fighting out there. That turret's going to maul you to pieces. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, right? We need Rykon and Sabouts to do some damage to these guys quickly before anybody goes down. I mean, before anybody else goes down. Aviticus already fell down once. Oh, man. Boy, Rodamont is just getting slain by this slaver boss. Oh, right, I've got him on hold. So they're not going to be... Oh, man. Uh, what is going on here? Oh, it's an... Right, it's an outlaw. Whatever. Silly outlaw slaves. It's not very nice. All right, don't go outside, Aviticus. Can't have you going outside, buddy. All right, Sabouts doing good work here, doing good work. Nice, nice. Now, we don't want everybody to go outside quite yet. Let's go ahead and regroup over here. Is this guy an archer? It doesn't look like he is. Let's go ahead and engage him. Spout's getting in there nice and quick again, as usual. Rykon as well with his katana. There we go. There we go. Another guy down. Another guy down. Whew. Making short work of this building here. Quite a few guys have come in here to fight us. Rykon looks like he's limping pretty hard. Spout's getting him from behind. Shidan getting staggered. Everybody's stumbling. All right, here we go. We got everybody healing each other up now. I'm going to go ahead and take hold off so they can do exactly that. Let's just make sure everybody's got hold off. Yep. All right. Do we have any slaves trying to break out out here? I think we do have some slaves that are fighting out here. All 
Okay, it looks like there was a slaver upstairs. It's coming to join the fight. Rodamont's still on the ground. Leviticus, looking like he wants to go outside to fight. I don't really want them to do that. Let's go ahead and regroup back inside, boys. Come on. Oh, Leviticus goes down as I'm trying to get him back inside. Sabouts, stay here. All right, everybody rally up. Stay inside. Let this guy come into us. All right, let's get him. Let's get him knocked out. Auto save, knocking us out. There we go, there we go. Get him backed into a corner. Nice job, guys, nice job. Okay, let's get rallied up here real quick. Let's take a look at Aviticus. He's doing okay. He's going to wake up. He's at. He's got a minus 34 K, KO point. He's at minus 26, so he's going to be able to get up. Let's check that turret really quick here, guys, just to make sure. Oh, there is a guy on it who's pointing something right at him. So, can we get out here? And pick him up real quick with sabouts. Actually, what is going on? Come on. What is going on with these doors? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get him picked up. And get him back inside. Here we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and loot these guys and clean up this room just to make sure they don't have first aid kits and they're not playing dead because I'm sure some of them already are like this guy. Okay, so we were kind of in the process of looting, guys. We got another guy here coming to join the fight. Oh, I, I toggled Sabouts' his stealth, but he still seems to be just stuck in stealth. It's very weird. There we go. Let's see if we can get him knocked out nice and quick. All right, there we go. Got some guys getting up again. And Aviticus is on his feet. That's great. We're going to continue to loot these guys and clear this room. Never mind, we got another guy coming in here. All right. I think they're just going to trickle in and try to heal their dudes, and that's okay. Oh, we don't want to be trick. We don't want to be trickling outside, dudes. It's not what we want to be doing. We we don't want to be doing that. Let's get over here. Get farther into the room. Rodamon is down again. The fight seems to be going decently well. Hatsune is on the ground as well. Oh, are these the? I think these might be those samurai. Oh, they are, guys. They are. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, dude, Shidan is in trouble. Oh, no. Oh, no. He lost his arm, and he's losing a ton of blood. Well, guys, let's see what happens. I don't, I mean, I don't think Sabouts can do anything right now, right? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's in the corner getting knocked on his butt. I think we got to start taking these guys' gear off. I and I think I don't know if this bleeding, I don't I don't this is dangerous. That right arm is off and that bleeding is is pretty hardcore. Anybody else in danger of dying? No, but Shidan is definitely in danger of dying, guys. So this was going pretty well, but I think once that samurai showed up, I think these these yeah, these guys. Boy, they came all the way over from that noble hut. I thought we were going to be okay. I didn't think we we're going to have to worry about that, but it looks like we definitely are. All right. Well, uh, Sabouts is definitely going to get knocked out here pretty soon. Okay, now they're going to start basically capturing everyone. So we need to rearrange their gear so that's not something that's going on. All right, we've got everyone's gear moved around. Now we just hope that they uh, bandage Shidan in time. Because as long as they do that, we're good. We can get out of this situation. We've gotten out of these situations so much. We know how to do this. Um, but it, we really need them to start uh, band-aiding. <laughs> or his his bleeding needs to correct itself. One of the two. Like, it just it really needs to... Oh, I don't know if it's gonna, guys. They've enslaved him, but I don't see them bandaging him necessarily. Oh, I'm so nervous right now just watching that go down. It's just like, oh. Yeah, so we kind of, I'll just show you real quick while we wait for him to possibly hopefully not die. I rearranged everyone's gear and kind of put all the stuff in the backpacks. Made sure everything that's stolen, especially like bolts and stuff, I just threw it in, in backpacks. And so we should be good. 
as far as like not getting our stuff stolen goes. Oh, he's still bleeding, guys. I don't remember how far down you can go in blood. I don't, I think it's like, I, I it might be minus 30. I don't remember. So we're just going to have to let this play out. Okay, they stopped the bleeding, guys. They finally, they were going around band-aiding each other and everybody, and finally they got the bleeding down on, uh, on, on Shidan, right? So, or Shidan, Shidan. So we're, we're pretty lucky right there. Like, that went south pretty quick. We definitely got some skill ups. We got some toughness. His arm came off, though. That's uh, reasonably problematic. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe we should have kept that extra arm. Although I think that was... Was it a left arm? Yeah, it was. So it wouldn't have done any good. They still have not bandaged everybody, though. When people wake up, though, they'll be able to bandage themselves. All right, once everybody's sort of like awake and we can start formulating a plan to get the F out of here, uh, we're going to do exactly that. All right, guys, Sabouts is awake, which means everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> oh, man, Shidan is asleep for 1,900 seconds. Uh, it's going to be half an hour before he's up, so uh, I don't think we'll be doing that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we'll be using Sh Shidan to uh, get himself out of this situation. Okay, so obviously Sabouts is uh, incredibly good at picking locks. He grew up in a slave camp, escaping right away. So uh, we're going to get him out almost immediately, I think. And then, yeah, his head is in danger of being shot, but I think he doesn't have any leg injury slowdown. So I think as soon as we take off these shackles, he's fine. I don't think Sneak is really going to do anything. I think we just have to escape. And now we got to get the F out of here, guys. We got to run with Sabouts. He's super fast, so he should be fine. Oh my god, are you kidding me? He's getting stuck in this stupid door. Oh my. Alright. Alright. Fair enough. <laughs> Shit happens. Uh, okay. Hatsune, uh, she's going to continue to work on her lock picking. Man, Raikon is awake, but his leg is toast, so there's no way that we can get him uh, to run out. I cannot believe he got stuck on that dang door. All right, well, once he wakes up uh, again, we will pick his. We'll get him out of here uh, as long as we don't take damage to that leg. I, I will manually drive him out of this building. Whatever's going on with this building that's bugged out, it's we need to we need to just. I wonder if they're trying to repair the door. I don't know what's going on with that. It's so weird. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll get out of here. So, All right, so Bouch just stood up. Uh, I, I, I'm i hoping that we can get his... Yeah, we got his lock picked before uh, he was attacked. So let's get him over here. Now we got to get him out of this door. Nice, he's out of the door. Okay, that's all we need. Now we need to get him... There's some, there's some weird pathing issue. I don't know what's going on. Okay, he's out. He's out. We're good to go. So we're going to get him as far away from these guys as we... Oh my god, what is this? This is a group of samurai. No, it's just manhunters. Okay. These guys aren't very fast. None of them are going to be able to keep up with Sabouts. Sabouts is... Oh, you know what we need to do, guys? I mean, we might as well just put his armor on, right? No reason not to. Help his stealth if he needs it. I just don't want him to be heavy. Okay, good. He's fine. Perfect. All right, let's get over here. Okay, those guys didn't aggro. That's great. Very nice, very nice. He's out now. It looks like there are dudes that are going to walk right by where our bags are. So those bags are not, those sleeping bags are not in a good spot at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and just hang out over here. Uh, he does have 100 stealth, it looks like, even with the injuries. Cool, so he's out. We're going to get him healed up. We're going to continue to try to break these guys out. Uh, Rykon is probably going to be the hardest one because he has a damaged leg. What else we got here? Uh, Aviticus could certainly get out if he could pick his lock. He is awake. He has a 6% chance, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now, what about Hatsune? Hatsune is... Did she already? Oh, she did. Oh, hello, Clarice. Okay, so she got out. 
So let's go ahead and ditch that. We'll put her shoes on. We're gonna escape. Okay, now we need to get her downstairs and away from that stupid bugged door. We're gonna let these guys fight. I don't wanna get involved in this. I wanna get out of here and get healed up and continue to rescue these guys and get, get oh yeah, good. Get this whole party just to safety, right? We do not want to be. Oh, hi. I ran into that whole group. They were right around that corner. <laughs> All right. Cool. So we got uh, Sabouts and Hatsune out and not necessarily safe per chance or per se. Mm, yeah, that guy is a pretty weak manhunter. Problem is, oh, Hatsune is not really. Oh, she doesn't have her gear on. Let's go ahead and put all her stuff on. Get rid of these junk pants. Now, how's about? Hmm. I'm a little nervous to take this fight with this guy. Why do I say that? Well, because I'm one hit from KO with Sabouts, and we do not want Sabouts to go down and get captured again. Hatsune is probably okay. One thing that we could do, certainly, is we could, uh, since Sabouts is stealthed, we could let Hatsune come over here. Oh, 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 what is that? Is that a skimmer? That is a skimmer, guys. So I think change of plans. I'm gonna get him over here. Hatsune, I'm gonna have you aggro this skimmer. Oh, that guy is de-aggroing. Okay, that's fine. So now we're we're good to go. She's super slow with her stealth. I think I'm gonna start working on it right now. Uh, and then hopefully we can get, man, we did knock out a lot of those dudes in that building. We were, we were actually doing quite well, and then we just got jumped. So, you know, it's one of those lessons, really, uh, in humility, I guess, or in, you know, paying attention. Like, I should have been not only um, just focusing on what we were doing inside. By the way, that is a weapon we do want to pick up. Oh, now Hatsune is, has been aggroed by something. Is it the turret? Doesn't look like it, but she is aggroed from something. I have a feeling it's this guy. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to continue the rescue effort. And we will keep trying to get people out one at a time. Get them healed up. Looks like this guy is running or going back inside. So I will continue to just kind of like get people uh, to the beds. Now, because these guys are aggroed, I'm not going to use the beds, right? Uh, because we're not quite clear, and it looks like they are sort of trying to come outside to fight us. So I think we'll probably wait to... Yeah, we're going to take uh, Hatsune and Sabouts over probably... I think what we can do... I'm going to move these beds. I don't really want them here anyway. Is that guy dead or in recovery coma? He's in recovery coma. Okay. All right. So I think what we'll do is get these beds picked up and moved somewhere farther away. Because it, I don't really want these guys to be aggroing us through the wall. I don't feel comfortable using the beds. It feels a little cheaty uh, if these guys are aggroed. So if we can get away and out of range, then I'm okay healing up. Uh, but what I'd like to do is actually maybe try to get everybody get everybody out. So, oh, he does have a 6% chance. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to leave these guys here for now. Let them just sort of gradually heal over time. And then once Aviticus gets unlocked, we're going to try to get out with him as well. What about Rodamont? His speed is okay, but he has a leg injury. Okay, I think what I might do is with Rodamont, let's go... Oh, he can't pick the lock anyway, so... So that's not an option. But I think once we've unlocked this cage, it's a 69, we can certainly... Oh, that's not even the right cage. Where is Rodamont? Where? Oh, he's... Whoa, he's way over here. 
Okay, so he's in this police station. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a a pretty difficult rescue. <laughs> Uh, the only thing I can think that we could do with Rodamont is basically just keep picking these locks until his skill gets high enough. It's going to take quite a while, though, and I think he's going to get hungry. Yeah, okay. Rodamont's going to have a tough go of it. Let's see if Aviticus, once he can pick this lock. So I'll bring you guys back in once we have an update here. All right, guys. Aviticus finally finished uh, getting his, um, his cage open. See what his lock picking is up to. Yeah, it's up to 40, so it took quite a while, uh, but he is out. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is kind of the same thing we did before. We're certainly going to put his shoes back on, and we are going to uh, get him down to this door. And hopefully... Oh, we need to escape first, of course. And then get down here. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah! Keep running, bro. Keep running. <laughs> ah! 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 All right, there we go. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. So many guys. So many guys. Okay. So, let's get all three of these guys. We can just unsneak and then just run together as a group. And we're going to go ahead and put Aviticus' gear on just to help his chances of survival should somebody decide that it's his turn to get whacked with some kind of polearm. And now we've got food over to our group of people that are free, which is great. Uh, we've got three of them now, so we can start and get... And these are, you know, Hatsune and, um, is not super strong. Aviticus is definitely getting there. Um, he's got a long ways to go. All right, looks like they're turning around. All right, that's good, that's good. It's great. Uh, alarm raised. Uh, okay, cool. So, we're going to continue to work on getting people out of this mess. And get back to sieging these dirty slaver bastards. Alright, we've got one slaver guy that kind of just keeps re aggroing on us here. I think we're going to go ahead and just take this fight, right? There's three of us. We should be able to take this guy. Let's see how we do. Aviticus running in there pretty quickly. He's... Oh, nice. He got stumbled before we got that hit. So, that's that's great. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we got two. We got that one guy down. I don't want to charge in here and get the rest of them. I just want to take it nice and slow. Okay, good. We don't have more guys aggroed. Let's go ahead and relieve this guy. Go ahead and take his armor off. Now that we're in trouble, we're going to start taking armor off. Now, of course, I won't make you guys watch that every time. I'm just wanted to let you know that we're going to change tactics just a little bit here. All right, now let's let's just chill out here. Let's hang out here. We all, we know that all of our guys are faster than everyone inside. Maybe not stealthed, uh, but I want to see if these guys are aggroing and trying to run out to uh, to attack us. No, it looks like they're just getting on the gate here, which is fine. And let's see. Yeah, there's three of them on the gate right now. Although it looks like one of them is pretty slow, so I kind of feel like what we could do. Yeah, let's try it, guys. Here, we're going to take another risk, and this is fine. Let's go ahead and aggro these guys that are on the gate, and two of them will chase us. Uh oh, uh, maybe we got more than I was hoping for here. Wait, is this the, is the slow guy coming out here to fight us without his homies backing him up? I think they are, guys. Look at this. This guy's just going to come fight us. We're going to take advantage of that. Absolutely. Come on. Who's a good boy? All right, looks like this is about as far as we can go. Let's see if the guys at the gate uh, help him out. I'm hoping not. There we go. Nice hits. Nice hits. Everybody, I'm sorry I'm zoomed out again, guys. Just watching for the green here. I'm just what I'm trying to do is keep my eyeballs on the guys at the gate to make sure they're not coming with us. Or sorry, to make sure that they're not engaging as well. All right, let's try to do something similar here. We know we can outrun these guys. Let's see if we can pull a couple of them. Looks like we can. That's great. Yeah, this is what we want. We want to pull a couple of these guys. Okay, okay. Let's keep pulling them, keep pulling them. Now, we're going to focus on the guy who's got no armor first and hopefully get him knocked out really quick. Spouse in there with a quick strike. Aviticus with a follow-up kick and a punch. Both of them go down. All right. Let's relieve them of their belongings. If they have any Band-Aids, we want to get rid of those too. Looks like this guy at the gate is bugged. He's not moving. It just says Static Town Guard. He hasn't even aggroed on us yet. So we'll go ahead and engage him. 
Oh, okay, that wasn't much of a fight, but hey, that's okay. Now, I don't really want him at the gate, right? I, what I want is I want this guy away from the gate. Um, I don't want these guys to heal him either, and sometimes they do that. So I'm going to pull him over here so that when he gets up, he's not next to the gate. So if anybody comes out to heal these guys, we'll be ready. Like, we'll be ready to kill them. And that's pretty much what we're going to continue to do. Sort of systematically get these guys out of here. Oops. Alright, let's do a quick health check on these guys. Just to see if any of them are... How is he... How did... How did he get bandaged? Did I miss a first aid kit on one of these dudes? Or did somebody walk by and, and bandage them? He doesn't have a first aid kit. Neither does he. I am extraordinarily confused as to how these two dudes got band-aided. Did somebody, like, randomly walk by? Huh, interesting. Now, there is a guy over here on the ground... One of the dudes we fought originally, right? But I think we relieved. I don't. I don't think that person has a first aid kit. No, they do not. They also pretty much don't have a leg. So maybe they were already bandaged, and we just did enough damage to knock them out. I'm not really sure, guys. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's a little strange. Okay, let's take a quick look at our group and see if anybody who's awake is ready to get the F out of here. Uh, Shidan has got a crippled arm. He can unlock his shackles. Oh, and ooh, what's his block picking? Two. He just must be in a really low-level cage. Okay, well, that's fine. We can get him out. Uh, Rykon, his leg... Isn't too bad. He's got 9% due to leg injury. So let's see if we can get Rykon out as well. Because even though his, his leg is injured, he's splinted it, right? So he may actually still be fast enough to get out of here. The problem is he's got to run by some turret towers. Eh, actually, he doesn't. I think we can run him over here. I think we can do this. I think we got this, guys. Let's give it a shot. All right. Let's first off, let's take a look at what his speed is. Oh, there's a guy right there. Well, dirty, dirty bastard. All right, let's see what his speed is. I unpaused it really quick just to see what the speed was. Okay, so I am going to put his armor on so that if he does get hit for some reason, oops, I don't know why I'm dragging those instead of just right clicking them. Uh, if he does get shot for some reason, we should be okay. Problem is, his weapon is over here in this building. <laughs> I don't really want to run over there and grab it quite yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to escape. Then now that he's escaped, we're going to run down here. I'm very worried that he's going to get stuck on that door, but we're going to try it and just see if this building is the same way. I'm hoping it isn't. Come on, get down there, buddy. Get down there. Yeah, he's good. Good to go. Rakon is a boss, as always, guys. Uh, no. It looks like those guys are going to aggro. Uh, we are also going to put hold on all these dudes. I do not want them coming in to try to help without me specifically telling them it is time to help. All right, all right. Fantastic. Looks like uh, Shidan has finished lockpicking what he needs to lockpick. So now we've got four of our people out, and, and oh, did somebody just get up and come to attack us? Oh, that's a slaver boss. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. How do we feel about this engagement, guys? I don't think that this guy can take all of us. I think we should take this engagement, and we're gonna. We're gonna take this fight. Spouse with the first strike, and he goes down. What happened? Did he lose a leg or something? No, he just... His stomach. Interesting. Oof. Another hit to the stomach. Minus 28. So, I wonder if we had damaged him previously. You don't need those cats, pal. And you definitely... I don't want him to have that first aid kit. Oh, one of his compatriots is up, so we need to deal with him next. Let's go ahead and do that. Get in there. Sorry about that. 
I don't know why I'm checking their inventory. I know that he doesn't have anything. Okay. Oh, we have archers, boys. It is time to skedaddle. Ooh, don't hit us. Don't hit us. Don't hit us. Yeah, they got two archers that are coming out here to chase us. Oh, okay. Got a couple more guys. What is this guy here? Another archer. So we've got a few of these archers here that are working on uh, dialing in on us. Yeah, look at that. We got a whole bunch of them chasing us. Okay, so that guy has turned around. What is this? Another dude that was chasing us? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. There's probably a guy back here that's going to heal them at some point. And I think we d we can go ahead and take out these archers. Let's go ahead and get around behind this. Will that give... They shouldn't have line of sight here, right? I don't think. Are they going to try to shoot us here? Can they shoot us here? Are they basically just going to shoot the side of this hill? I feel like that's exactly what's going to happen. So, what we're going to do now... Let's just do a quick check just to see. Okay, nobody is going to get knocked out with one hit. That's good. Let's let them go. Can they band-aid each other? Why are they not band-aiding each other? I don't know why. I don't see anybody else coming. I think those other two dudes returned. So let's go ahead and get down there. And we want to run right next to him, right, guys? We don't want to click attack. We want to get right next to him. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't only want Aviticus. That was a mistake on my part, for sure. There we go. Hopefully he doesn't get hit on the way. He did, but he took zero damage. Okay, great. Outstanding. One of them's down. Hatsune and Raikon hitting the other one. Now, they are on hold still, so we want to go ahead and manually tell them to attack. Oh, Raikon's set to martial arts because his weapon's inside. That's right. Okay. So we need to get his weapon. All right, we got another archer coming in, and it looks like he just got a guy behind him too, but I think that guy's crawling. Yeah, he's toasted. Okay, so we're going to let this archer come a little bit farther out. And in fact, I think that's... Oh, hey, there's another guy here calling us the Thieving Worm. Um, is he going to get up right away? That's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and get in here and fight him. And then once we've taken him down, we'll move straight to that archer. Okay, he's down. Let's run straight over to the archer. And get him knocked out. Alright, there we go. Can't really see much because of the dust storm. Nicely done, guys. Leviticus getting in there for some hits. And Sabouts as well. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Uh, I do wish that they, would, that they wouldn't hold when they were already in combat with someone. You know what I mean? Like, I want them to hold position. But once they're engaged in melee with someone, I don't want them to not move to follow up with that, that fight. Alright, so we managed to get Shidan out. And I am going to go ahead and put his shoes on and see what his speed is. It looks like it's only 18. Oh. Didn't actually take his shackles off there. Okay, so he's he's can run at 22. I think he should be just fine. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that garbage. Just put his armor on in case he does end up taking a hit somewhere. Uh, I don't know that we, yeah, we don't really need, I mean, we might as well put the shirt, shirt on too. Okay. Let's see if we can get him out of here, guys. He needs a new arm. <laughs> Poor guy, man. He's struggling. Okay. Here goes nothing, boys. All right. He is, he is down here. Let's see if he gets stuck on the door. Please don't get stuck on the door. Thank you for not getting stuck on the door. Yeah. All right. Now, maybe, yeah, look at this, guys. Okay, here we go. Now, we're leading these guys out. Let's go ahead and fight these two dudes that are chasing us. Might as well, right? Come on, boys. Come on. Once autosave is done screwing up the video, let's get them. No, 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 no. You guys are not going to heal those guys. Uh-uh. No, sir. 
Spouse in there. Nice lunge. Nice lunge. Here we go. Oviticus getting in there with some martial arts, maybe. Yeah. And <laughs> Rykon trying his best to, to make himself look like a martial artist. It's cute. Okay. We got the slaver boss out here, too. And he's down. Time to clean up. All right. I want uh, Rykon's weapon back. And I don't think... Yeah, Rykon's leg is... Eh, it's going to hinder his stealth. I want to get in here with Sabouts. Did I already put everybody on hold? Just toggle it to make sure. All right, let's get in there with Sabouts. Get his, uh, get Rykon's weapon, right? Now, the, he, we don't know where his katana is. Oops, that was awkward. What's this guy doing? He's looting the dead. He's grabbing. Oh my god, did one of these slaves pick up my damn katana? Are you, mm, that's a Mark III Udachi, guys. Udachi. I don't, I don't know who's got that, but man, this is the second time something like this has happened. I, I thought I had cleared their weapons, but clearly I didn't. It was sitting right there, right? Is it upstairs? No. Well, that is a bummer because I don't see anybody that's wearing that weapon. And I don't think anyone other than a slave would have picked it up. Just in case this guy picked it up. I don't think he did. Can we knock this guy out too? Okay, he's out. Nope, definitely not on him. Well, there's his first katana. It was in this chest here. So I'm kind of hoping we find his, his other one. But I don't think we will. Because we saw it on the ground, right? Which means... Whoever try, whoever looted him didn't have enough inventory space to pick it up. Which means it didn't didn't go anywhere until probably an escaped slave picked it up. Now maybe that escaped slave that picked it up got knocked out somewhere else. There's no way a slave could have gotten out of here. I don't know who would have picked that up, guys. Um Yeah. That's so weird. All right, well, the good news is these guys over here, these heavies, they carry Odachis. So we will at some point get one while we're here. Oh, oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. There it is. Okay, you have a mission now, Sabouts. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to get the F and heck over there. Oh, he's going to get stuck on the door first. You know, you got to make sure you get stuck on doors, guys. Because AI is hard. I mean, it's not even AI. It's just pathfinding. All right. Now, of course, I know nothing about pathfinding, but I'm pretty sure that given my math background and my huh, software engineering background, I could probably read white papers, figure out how to do pathfinding, and fix that issue. Let's get these guys knocked out. After autosave is done. And the Notorious, I'm going to just follow you forever and not knock you out. What's going on? These guys are fighting. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and make sure all those guys are engaging in that fight instead of just two of them. And we'll get back into Sabouts. See if we can knock this guy out quickly. Come on, big guy. Get on over there. You got this, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you. That doesn't belong to you. That belongs to my boy, Rykon. All right. Actually, we'll go ahead and relieve this guy of his uh, first aid kit, too. These guys are still fighting this dude. Really? That's interesting. Okay. I would have thought they'd finish him in a couple hits, but, you know, sometimes that doesn't happen. All right, now that we've made it out, we got uh, Rykon's weapons here. Let's go ahead and equip him so he's ready for combat. As ready as he can be. He's such a baller. Of course he's ready. What am I talking about? All right, and then that splint kit belonged to someone. Who did I take that off of? Aviticus to make room. Okay, so let's give that splint kit back to Aviticus. Oh, and we're out of splint kits on Sabout, so we'll have to find one and steal it at some point. 
All right, we got another mission here for Sabouts. I need him to get in here and get over to this building. We're going to try to get Rodamont out of here. Now, this there's, there's a pretty sparse number of guards in here. There's a guy right there, and there's a guy on the front. So what we're going to try to do is just get over here and knock the guy that's on the front gate out. So we'll, we'll see if we can get this guy knocked out here real quick before we get detected. And he is out. Okay, we are, of course, as always, going to relieve these guys of their possessions. Okay, our stealth has reset. Let's get this guy. Oh, dude, there's a lot of guys here. What in the world is going on? What are they doing? Okay. He's just sitting here with some dude. Okay, so I'm going to wait for my moment of opportunity. It looks like maybe this is it. Let's see if we can get in here without getting detected. We might as well just knock this dude right here out right now, right? Why not? And what about this guy? That's a little risky. But we did get him. Oh, oh, I don't want to sit down. There we go. 100% chance to steal. Good. All right, here we go. Next dude. Okay, he's out. Okay, now that we've got everybody uh, basically... Oh, oh, there's a couple more guys in here, dude. I almost missed these guys. Look, there's three of them. All right, let's get this guy in the back first. He's down. Let's get this guy. He's down, maybe. There he goes. And this guy. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Okay. All right, let's get over here and help unlock Rodamont. Let's get his, uh, or his uh, cage unlocked now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, now Rodamont. How fast is Rodamont? I think... I think because he's got everything in there, he should be just fine. Let's put his shoes on. Let's put his armor on, at least as much of it as we can before overloading him. He's pretty heavy. Like his armor is pretty heavy, right? So we don't necessarily need... Oh, even with everything, he's good. So let's go ahead and escape with him. All right, now he's still at 24 miles an hour. We're good to go, guys. Look at this. Okay, now, the only thing that I'm worried about with him is there's... T oh, there's a tower, but nobody's on it. I think we're good to go. All right, let's get out of here. Let's take Sabouts and Rodamont and get the F out of here, guys. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, man, guys. Whew. All right, sweet. Okay, so we've got everybody out. I wouldn't say safe necessarily because we we still we got a long ways to go, right? But at this point, we've we've escaped slavery again, gotten ourselves to reasonable safety. Our whole group can kind of like uh, assist each other now, and we can keep taking these guys down, like this dude that's somehow managed to decide he was going to crawl inside. Boom. Oh, wait. Okay, so Rodamont, yeah, he's that's right. He's got this big, heavy plank. Uh, so, yep. Cool. Oh, nice, guys. Everybody's safe. Okay, and nobody's aggroed on us now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and heal everybody up. I feel comfortable healing us now that we've kind of uh, dealt with everybody that was chasing us. And nobody's aggroed, and we've got all our weapons and everything. Did some rescue missions, so we're going to go ahead and heal up. All right, Shadon, I'm going to send him... Uh, on a mission real quick to run over and get himself a new arm. We've got plenty of cash to fund that, and I'm going to have him run over to Black Desert City real quick. He's got 100% protection from acid. You can see he's got 20 from or 35 from the iron hat, and he's got 70 from the chest piece, the long coat. So he's going to have 100% protection. We don't have to worry about him at all. We can just send him over there on autopilot. And he's fast enough that he's never going to get hit by an iron spider, most likely. So, if he does, we'll have to rescue him. <laughs> Alright, now that everybody's healed to full, let's go ahead and try to take this building again. I don't think... Oh, hello. How are you? Let's kill you first. That was easy. Alright, let's get inside. See if there's anybody in here. Other than the dudes. Okay, so there is one guy here. Now, we need to be somewhat careful. What is this guy? 
He's just a slaver guard, no problem. All right, Spouts, get in there, buddy. Oh, there's two guys. They're both awake, but they don't really... Looks like one of them was disarmed. The other one... We've obviously take the armor off both the other ones. He's getting pushed into the wall. Okay. It's, uh, can we let him get out of the wall? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, he's unconscious, and he's he's bleeding quite a bit. So yeah, maybe he'll get up and come fight us. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Are there any slaves downstairs? I don't see any. Uh, let's go ahead and head upstairs. We are the anti-slaver. Well, we're not anti-slavers, but we are the uh, Kenchi slave celebrity freers. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock his cage. All right, we did it. Yes, we did. Thank you. I appreciate that you're... All right, so he may just be running off, it looks like. It's hard to tell, but I think that's what's going on. Yeah, he's just, he's just, oh, and he's an outlaw anyway, so. You know, we should really check that because I don't, I don't think any of these outlaws are going to be friendly. Um, let's get over here and knock this guy out, the dude with the, the bow. I don't like archers. We need to deal with this guy. There we go. Ooh, Spouts and Leviticus both getting good hits in there. He's on the ground already. Autosave. Hello. <laughs> oh, I have a love-hate relationship with autosave. I love that it keeps me from losing progress because every once in a while I'll have the game crash. But it's uh, it seems like it's only in certain areas. But as soon as I turn off autosave, I start losing uh, progress. It's really kind of funny. It's like a catch-22, you know? Okay, we got some slaves in here. We're going to go ahead and free all these dudes. Uh, there's a Sheck in here. Maybe we'll get lucky. We haven't managed to recruit any uh, Hivers or Sheck yet. That's kind of a bummer because I, I love Hive Princes. Um, and I love uh, Sheck for very different purposes. All right, that guy ran away as well. Or that chick. Chica. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Sheck out of here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, actually, he was just grabbing weapons, it looks like. Now, this guy is saying to us, let's get out of here. All right. Very cool. All right. Is this... Yeah, that's the Sheck that's... Wait, what? Oh, I see. He's an outlaw. So, he is aggroed to us, right? Like, his, his faction is, is red. Uh, but because we freed him and we haven't engaged in combat with him, kind of like the, the, the uh, what is it, the Blood Reavers? Reapers? Blood Reapers? Uh, we were, you know, in our last playthrough, we fought a bunch of those guys. And when we would free the slaves, they would essentially, um, they would sometimes, like, if we were fighting their masters, our characters would automatically aggro on them and attack them, but they would never aggro on us. They would only respond to us attacking them. And sometimes we would actually get some of them as freed slaves. I think we actually only ended up getting one. Come on over here, pal. He's nice and slow, but let's get him. Boy, if this guy joins us, I'm going to be excited. I love Shek. Oh, is it a woman, Shek? Yeah. All hail, Ruka. I need to find another female community contributor if this person does join us. Well, you guys need to, okay? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, it, they just joined us. Sweet. Uh, from what they said, I didn't think they were going to join us, but it turns out they did, so that's awesome. Super cool. We have a shack, dudes. I'm, I'm so excited right now. This is awesome. Uh, did they eat? They did. Okay, that's great. Wow, that is the skinniest shack I have ever seen. Oh, my God. You need to eat some food, girl. We'll get you fed. We'll get you fed. You're going to be all right. All right. We also need to get her some armor, man. Woo. Poor thing. All right, we're getting back in here. Just doing some... Skirmishes here, getting engaged. Ooh, Rodamont with a nice strike. Totally missed, actually. But then Rykon just comes in there and just obliterates. Absolutely obliterates. Whip with, <laughs> whip with the punch. 
Too bad there's not a, a weapon called a whip in this game. That'd be amazing. Maybe there is a mod with a whip. I don't know. If you guys know one, let me know, because I would certainly grab a whip for that character. Uh, we are going to need a different weapon. I, I do want to keep some variety in weapons. So right now we've got heavy weapons. Uh, what do we got? We've got um, on Sabouts, we've got a polearm. On Rikon, we've got katanas. On Aviticus, we are a martial artist, and we're only going to have one martial artist, by the way. Uh, Rodamont, we have... Uh, why don't I remember? Oh, heavy weapon. Uh, Hatsune, we have... What did we use? He that's right. We used a hammer or a plate mace, uh, which is a uh, uh, blunt weapon. And uh, Shadon, of course, is going to be our ranger. And Whip could have sabers, maybe, or hackers. Let's do hackers. Yeah, we'll we'll do hackers on Whip, or whoever Whip ends up being. That's up to you guys. Now we can, of course, use uh, uh, con community contributors. I'm just going to check this real quick, just to be sure. We can, of course, use community contributors that are male. Um, if we want to, that's, that's fine. Uh, what do we want to do here? I think what we want to do is go outside and engage. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Fighting some beak things. Luckily our group is strong enough to fight beak things. So I'm not too worried about it now. Uh, I don't want to fight multiple beak things at a time. And that's, what's dangerous about being on this side. So let's get out here and go around. I don't want to get hit by that turret. But let's go to the front gate and start engaging the front gate and clear out the guards the same way. Because that's going to thin the ranks in general. I want to thin it to the point where nobody's on the turrets anymore. I mean, there's only one turret, so it's not that big a deal. But I still want to do it. I still want to clear that front gate. Poor whip. He's so slow. She. Sorry. She. All right. Here we go, guys. Now, um... I, I was going to let these beak things kill these guys, but I want to get involved in this fight. Now, the reason I want to get involved in this fight is because I want these... Uh, I want to kill these beak things before these guys die, right? So I want Sabouts and I want Rykon to get on these dudes. Now, I don't... Why are these guys just standing here? Okay. Let's get over here. Let's get behind this one and fight this one. Uh, also, Rodamont, I do not want you standing in front of this thing to get hit by the AoE. That's not a good idea. Uh, in fact, Rodamont, why don't you go ahead and engage this guy? Okay. So, we've got this guy down. I want to go ahead and uh, drop these on the ground. I do not want these beak things getting back up. See how long we have until these guys. That's recovery coma, 63 seconds. Okay, so Rykon should be able to dominate this beak thing by himself pretty easily, and he did. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, beak things are not are not tough unless you are way underpowered. Any any character that you have that has 30 in their stats or higher can easily take beak things. Uh, any character that is 20 or above should be able to do reasonably well and survive for a while um but the problem a lot of people essentially uh almost everyone that i've ever seen in a playthrough that struggles with beak things that thinks they're incredibly strong they basically just clump their people up right they clump their people up right next to the beak thing in front of them you cannot block uh beak things attack other than oh oh, oh what's going on here where where are you going rodamont Let's stay over here, buddy. Okay, there's another beak thing over there. What's this? Okay, it's an outlaw. We don't care. Uh, we already looted those ones. We want to... Oh, hi, Whip. Why don't you get over here? Poor guy. He's so... Or girl. I don't know why I keep doing that. Maybe because they're so skinny that they don't uh, look like they have uh, female sex organs. I don't know. Whatever it is, I keep leaning towards he instead of she. Okay, now we do still have guys here. That dude's an archer. Uh, we we should be able to take these guys. We can fight them over here so that none of them hopefully run to the turret. But before I do that, I'm going to relieve these guys of their stuff as usual, guys. All right, the whole front gate is pretty much cleared here. Uh, let's go ahead and get in here. And we do have a turret here that we need to worry about a little bit. Not the one right behind us, but the one across the courtyard from us, right? So we want to see if we can get these guys taken out as quickly as possible. 
There we go. There we go. Sorry, I keep pausing it there. And then the last guy we need to deal with is this dude. Nice hits, guys. Man, you guys are doing just so good. And I really appreciate everyone who's sponsored, uh, you know, someone in this game. I really, I really am very thankful that you guys have brought it to my attention, who you appreciate that's a community contributor. All right, I'm going to check. I, now, looks like I thought there was going to be more slaves in there like this one. So we're going to check these two buildings here. We're going to clear these two buildings. We're going to start with this guy. Yeah, the turret I'm talking about is the one over here, right, guys? We need to be careful of that one. We've also got a very dangerous situation waiting to happen if we do happen to aggro these, these heavies. Uh, we are going to want to fight them, but we're going to want everyone else to kind of be down by the time we're doing that so we don't have to worry about someone running to a turret. So let's go ahead and get in here. See what we can find. Let's check everybody's health, too, real quick, just to see how what kind of state we're in. You know, we're doing pretty good. Uh, it's not perfect. Oh, actually, Shadon is aimless. Good thing that I didn't have him parked right next to a, a spider that was actually alive. So let's go ahead and get him into town here. That's going to be tough to do. Okay, how about over there? That should be okay. All right, now with these guys... I, I don't like to split up my group like that and control them separately because I always, like, do something wrong and forget something. Uh, but that's right now, like, I just need uh, Shidan to get himself an arm. So let's get in here and see what we can see. Okay, so we have fully armored guys, and there's three of them. So let's go ahead and get over here. And then let's get this guy attacked first. Hopefully, we don't have anyone outside. Whip, I don't want you to attack that guy specifically. All right, here we go. Nice. Hatsune getting some nice strikes in there. Raikon, of course, as always, Viticus trying to lunge with these punches. Absolutely awesome, guys. Well done, well done. Yeah. Slaying him, slaying him. Okay, I'm going to clean these guys up and uh, take Shadon over to get an arm. All right, let's see what they got here. Now remember the right arm, we're going to look for the thumb coming off the right hand side. So we got swift arms, which could be good, but I think we want something that helps with crossbows. There's a marksman's arm, also very good. That's a specialist marksman's arm. Let's see if we can find something that is, that's another specialist. High grade, masterwork marksman arm. That is exactly what we want right there. Dex plus 20 and crossbows plus 39%. So I think we're going to go with that. Let's just take a quick look and see if there's anything else that we would like other than that. So the red one is is that. KLR, no. Uh, bandits, arms, those would be okay. But I'm, I don't, I'm not worried about him being a thief. Thief's arm, yep, yep. Swift arm, those are always very good. I wonder if the swift arm... Can we find a swift arm... Oh, Leviathan's arm. That thing's amazing. I mean, not for us, obviously. Not for this particular character. I mean, it still could be good for the plus 23% strength, uh, but it's not not quite what I want. Man, I really... I want to put that on our martial artist, man. Look at that damage. 23% strength and 19 unarmed damage bonus. Are we really... That's such a good arm. If Aviticus loses uh, an arm, man, that is where... That's what we're doing on Aviticus, I think. Uh, the power the power arms are good, but I think that Leviathan's arm is definitely what I want to use on him. So, let's see. Where was that marksman's arm with the thumb to the right? That's not it. It's this one. Okay. Uh, and we need to select Shidan. There we go. I think we're going to take that marksman's arm. That looks good. All right. Nice, nice. Okay. So, we're good to go on Shidan. Let's go ahead and have him head back over. All right, we've liberated this entire building uh, pretty much. Uh, we, I looked through the chest to see if there was any gear we wanted. Nothing we really wanted. Uh, and there's these guys. Let's see. That guy's dying. This guy's going to get back up at some point, I believe. He's still playing dead, but we don't really care. Let's go ahead and get out of here and get to the next building. Clear the next one. 
Most of the slaves that we freed just ran away. I think it looks like we might have one that's following us. Let's go ahead and get in here and see. Yeah. What is this? A slave? Or it's a slave trader. Good. Woo. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Get in there. Man, Spouts and Rikon are just always on the forefront. Just hitting everything. Just smoking stuff. Seems like this, every time we get into a fight, what's going on here? This guy's tr uh, trying to aggro us, I guess, or something. Uh, I really want to get Alig Took. That's a cool name. I don't think I've seen that one before. Usually it seems like these uh, these Hivers, I haven't had a single one say anything other than, no, I won't disobey Master. So it's very unlikely we'll be able to rescue one of these guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, f clear up this building as well. Well, that's interesting. I had a guy right as we opened the cage tell me if uh, if I wanted to, I'd have taken you already. <laughs> sure, if that's what you want, follow me. Interesting. Gref. Uh, we'll have to rename him. I don't know who we're gonna who we're gonna take next. So Gref is gonna come with us as a starving dude for now, and we'll uh, find a uh, plastic surgeon at some point. So looks like we're gonna need another name. I don't think I've seen that before. I don't think I've seen somebody join me right away. Let's go ahead and continue to free the rest of them. Found a guard outside. Time to engage. Leviticus. Getting in there with sabouts. Ooh, punch to the face and he goes down. Seems like every time we get in combat, those slaves, we're always trying to attack those slaves somehow. It's kind of interesting. Alright guys, so uh, I was trying to take this guy out on the turret stealthily with the subouts, and he got detected right before he got up here. I did do a fair bit of damage to him, uh, but then this sort of heavy got up here, right? And they're they're pretty tough, so I'm going to try to do as much damage as I can to this guy um, before subouts goes down. Uh, but subouts is, he's in trouble. So, we'll see what happens. We've got the rest of the team coming over here to help him out. Um, hopefully we can get some really good hits in on these guys. But, I mean, there's just, there's too many of them, right? Uh, with the three attack slots, yeah, so he's down. Uh, now, Sabouts, uh, before he his stuff gets taken from him, we're going to go ahead and clear clear this stuff out. We really do need to. All right, uh, let's get the rest of the group over here. Uh, now that we've got Sabouts sort of like dis disrobed. Don't want... Oh, they're all going to come join the fight, though. That's That's a problem. I don't really want that to be the case. Let's see if we can pull these guys away from that turret. Whoa. What? What just hit Gref in the leg? What the heck just hit Gref in the leg? This guy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Must have been. I don't understand. What is... What is going on? Is there another guy on the turret over here? No. Oh, there's probably an archer somewhere. Yeah. No, that guy's not an archer. There must be some some there must be one somewhere. Oh, it's probably this guy that was that we were fighting over here. Oh no no no, and there is a guy back on the turret. Oof, that is not good. Uh Shidan is definitely gonna go down. So we need to get outside with everybody that we can get outside with. Come on, guys. Let's get outside as fast as we can. We can fight the heavies out here. Oh boy, Gref is in trouble, man. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, well, they reset. Okay, cool. All right, nice. Looks like one of them came out here to us, so we don't even have to go in there and fight him. He doesn't have a weapon, though. Somebody must have taken it when we had knocked him out. I guess we didn't take his armor. All right, so Bouts is out. No big deal. Nobody was even guarding him, right? So all I did was just pick his locks as normal, right? So figured you guys didn't need to see all that, but... Got him out. We're going to get everybody healed up again, and then we're going to start assaulting the um, the remaining three buildings here, right? We got uh, basically this, you know, this jail area, and then we got this uh, area that keeps all the food, and then we got the noble's hut. And uh, we're going to do that in the next episode, guys. So thank you all so much for your continued support and hanging out with me today. I had a ton of fun making this video with you dudes today. And hey, if you had as much fun as I did, let me know by crushing that like button. And thank you so much again for all the support. It means the world to me. And as always, guys, I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Love ya!